In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your Android phone look like a boss. Let's get started. First thing you need is a custom launcher of your choice. On my Galaxy Nexus, I'm using Nova. For those of you still stuck on gingerbread or below, I recommend ADW. So I want to start with the home screen. Let's start with the background wallpaper. The background wallpaper is the honeycomb wallpaper, the default one. All you need to do is do an image search for honeycomb wallpaper and I downloaded the first one. I believe it's 1920 by 1408 so make sure you download the high resolution one. Now for the top left you want to download circle battery widget. It's free in the app store and the one you want to do is the one by one. Okay, So you just go to your widgets and you want to use circle battery widget the one by one and that's basically it. That's how you get the circle widget icon for your battery stats. For the top right we use Bob Clock D3 just so you know. Also hold down click on widgets and search for Bob Clock D3. Now we're gonna have to adjust a couple things. Uh, mine is already pre-adjusted. First thing is hours. Make sure that you select white and make sure that the opacity is all the way to full. Otherwise, you're going to have some sort of transparency. Okay? And then for minutes, you're, use your best judgment. I chose um, this uh, blue color and I gave it a little bit of transparency there. Okay? Um, so it's sort of transparent. And that's pretty much it. Go ahead and click on confirm and it should look something like this. You're going to have to use your best judgment on the blue so that it matches the theme. For this next part, in order to get the temperature and voltage, you're going to need to download Minimalistic Text. This is probably one of my favorite widget apps and you'll, so, you'll soon learn why. Um, go ahead, I'm going to use this as a demo, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. First thing you want to do is uncheck show background. I know this for a fact that this is probably going to be check marked. Okay? Next thing, make sure that the widget direction is left to right the horizontal block is centered, the vertical block is to the top, and the horizontal text is left. Once you've set all those, uh, minimalistic text has predefined layouts. So for example, these are the ones that are popular. Since we're a boss, we need to go custom. Okay, So go ahead and click on custom, which will bring up this custom layout menu. Okay. Now, this is very easy to do. You're probably going to see a couple of default ones there. All you need to do is hold it down, put them in the trash can, and make sure you delete all of them first. Okay. Once you've deleted all of them, what you want to do is you want to add static text like I've done here. And in order to do that, it's really easy. All you do is click on that plus sign, and then you go to miscellaneous, and you see static, static text and you, all you do is drag and drop. Okay, So in this case I'm not going to do that because I've already done it here. Now when you click on static text, sorry, make sure that you write temp just like that. And a little side note, I've added an extra space after the colon. Okay, um, That way it spaces it out evenly and just write temp. Okay, Now once you've added temp, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to have to add the battery temperature. Okay, and in order to add that, once again, you click on the plus sign and find the battery um, icon down here and then search for battery temperature. Okay, I think I might have passed it. Here it is. Once again, just drag, drop it in here. So now I have two, but I don't want two. This is just showing you. So yours should look something like this, battery temp. Now in order to get another column like this, you're going to have to click on this icon down here. This will add another column. Do the same thing for down here, you want to add another static text, but in this case you're going to add volt. Okay. Now once you've done volt, once again I've added a space, so you can see here, that way it spaces it out properly, and then for this one I'm going to do battery voltage. Uh, once again it's, it's in the battery setting, so when you click here, you should be able to find voltage. Once you're done with that, all you need to do is go to the textile because we want that blue color. Click on normal. Make sure that the size is to 10 dip, DIP. I thought it was supposed to be DPI, but whatever, 10 DIP. And the color, you want to use this hex color. This is the hex color that I've used. It's FF3. 
33B5E5. I find that that's the color that matches the theme the best. So just keep that in mind whenever uh, widget allows you to enter a hex code. In the case of Bob Clock, it didn't allow you, so you kind of have to guess. So once you've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and click, click OK. Make sure you click on New Color. Make sure you do the same for the rest of these. So Ascented, you want to do Tin, Bold, Color, okay, same color, and then Non, Ascented. Once you're done with that, all you do is click on OK, and it, you should have these types of uh, settings, Temp, Volt, which look very nice. Now for the bottom weather widget, I use beautiful widgets. Okay, You want to use beautiful widgets, or excuse me, beautiful weather 4x1. Okay, now make sure that you select a weather skin, and I chose VOS dash flat white. Those are free. All you need to do is download them and make sure you install that. Once you've installed that, make sure that the background is transparent. So hide background, save and apply, and your weather should look like this. This one's very easy, and I've seen other th themes or uh, styles that look also really nice with this. So you go ahead and play around with that, but I, I tend to like this one the best. Now your phone should look similar to mine, and we're almost done with the home screen. Now we need to change the icons down here because I'm sure yours looks like stock. This is a little tricky and very, very time consuming, but I'm telling you once you're done, it's very rewarding, okay? So in order to make the icons look like this, you will need to download Metro Station. Okay, this is an icon pack. Once you've downloaded that, if you're not using a custom launcher, you will need Desktop Visualizer. Okay, so let me show you how this works. First, load up Metro Station, and you're going to have to do every single icon one by one. Like I said, this is very time consuming. So, for example, let's say I wanted to use like the camera icon. What I need to do is I need to click on the camera and select the color. In this case, if I'm going to use white, then that's fine. FFF is fine. Or if I'm going to use the blue, remember the hex code that I gave you guys, use the blue color so that it matches. So in this case, I'm going to use white. Once I'm done, click on the color. Now that icon is saved into my SD card. So for example, if I wanted to change this icon, remember, let's just pretend it's stock. Most launchers do this. You hold this down and you click on edit. You click on the icon and then you, you click on browse gallery. Now we click on metro station and it'll show you all, of course you can see all the ones that I have. Okay, And in this case I'm going to use the camera icon. Okay, And it'll say if you wanted to crop it and just click on crop, just leave it as is. Hit OK and now you have the the camera icon there. Okay, if obviously that's not the one I the one I have. Now, if your your launcher doesn't have that, then this is where you need a desktop virtualizer. Okay, I actually prefer doing it this way just because I feel the icons come out better. So I tend to use this anyway, even though my launcher does have that. So the first thing you need to do is select an image. So in this case, we're going to click on Metro Station again. I'm going to try and find that phone. There it is right there. And I'm going to select an action. So when, when you click on this picture, what is it going to do? It's going to open up an application. What application is it going to open? I'm going to have to find phone here. Oops. I don't know if it's phone. Uh, phone. There it is. Phone. Okay. And then I'm going to encode it. Basically, so that it, it makes sure it, it uh, excuse me. It makes sure that whenever you restart the phone, that it doesn't change back to the default one. Um, at least that's what I understand it does. Go ahead and click on OK. Now, since I'm have I'm running Nova Launcher, it's asking me what launcher do I want to use. In this case, I'm going to put Nova Launcher so it knows that you know to use that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and trash this one because I don't like this one. And I'm going to put phone, drag it down here and done. So essentially you would have to do this for every icon and then same thing for the app drawer. You just hold it down. I'm, I downloaded the Nexus, Nexus X logo and I've replaced it in the middle. So you could do the same or you can do whatever you want. But you know, once you've done that, that's basically half of the work. And this I'll tell you right now, doing all of these icons takes forever. So now that you know how to create these custom icons and assuming you do all of them the next part is really really easy 
basically what I've done is I've categorized e each section. So I have my home screen, and then I have all my social icons, or my social um, apps that I use, all of my miscellaneous stuff, and then as I scroll over here, I have my media and my office. Now, in order to get the title, we're gonna have to use minimalistic text once again. So I'm gonna show you what I did here. In order to save time, I would strongly uh, suggest that you name this widget and I would call it something like title, okay? Now, once again, you wanna make sure that you don't show the background. Um, the widget direction is left to right, horizontal block, center, vertical block, center, and horizontal text center, okay? Now, we are not doing a predefined layout, we are doing a custom layout once again. And once you click on custom layout, all we're doing is static text. So now that you know how to use the program, make sure you de delete all of them and just add static text. In this case, I'm using Office. However, there's this, this is something important. When you, excuse me, when you click on Office, make sure the style is assented. Okay, that is very important because we're using this style, meaning everything's gonna be capitalized, okay? Now, I know you see blue here, but don't worry about that one. All we need to do is mess with this one, the assented one. And make sure that it's bold, and I'm using a size of 32 DIP, and of course the color, remember the hex one that I showed you, which was the FF33B5E5, okay, go ahead and add that. Now, in order to save time, what you, that's pretty much it, but what you need to do is come down here and click on save. It'll say enter a title, save, okay? Next time, so in order to add this to another screen, all you need to do is load up the widget minimalistic text and then click on restore, okay? This will allow you to restore all of the settings that you just did. And for your information, this is a four by one. So make sure you, f you use a four by one horizontal and whenever you wanna add another one, like I said, all you need to do is long press, choose four by one minimalistic text, load up title, and it should bring that up. All you would need to do is just change the text so that you can call it whatever you want, social, miscellaneous, or whatever you decide to use. One thing to note also on this is that I am using shadow settings. And I clicked on show shadow, and the radius is five pixels, just so you know. That, that way it gives it a little bit of shadow, and I'll kind of see if you can see that, kind of add, adds a little bit of depth into it. Now for my media section, I have a music player that I like a lot. It's called Pure Music Widget. It is a paid app, but I do like it, so, you know, support the uh, developer. Um, this is a really nice app, and it's really easy to configure. It also allows you to use Google Music, which I like a lot. Um, so once you've uh, added this 4x1, you can configure it really easy. And this, is, this one takes uh, almost no time. You want to use text color. Make sure you use blue. And I like that the blue matches the theme. That's another plus on it. And then also, you want to pick a skin. Okay, uh, The default skin is uh, this one. It's called internal. The one you want to use is... I think it's called transparent. Yeah, transparent, and it shows that it's applied. So go ahead and download it. Don't download that. It doesn't cost any money to download uh, this uh, skin. And once you apply it, um, your music player should look. Let me close that. Should look like this. Now, if it has album art, it'll show the album art. Um, again, it's a really nice, and I like how it complements the theme. So I chose that uh, player. For my office. I'm using simple calendar widget, okay? I like this calendar. It's really nice. You can sync as many calendars as you want. Um, in this case, in order to make it look like the way I have it, go to appearance and click on skin. You want to use a semi clock, multiple events, okay? Background color, make sure that it is completely transparent if it's not already set to that. Go ahead and click on font options. And this one, I believe that I, the only thing I tweaked was the event text. And I changed the event text to uh, the blue that you know we've been using. And I think you could use, yeah, you could use a hex code. So go ahead and do that. And on this one, what you want to do is go to alt alternative layouts and change it from default. 
I'm using where it shows event text, event date, event time, event location, okay? That's the one that I'm using. And like all the other widgets that I've showed, or at least most of them, they allow you to save them. That's pretty much it on that one. And go ahead and back it up so that this way if you ever need to restore it, you can easily do that. Um, go ahead and click on OK and it should look like this, um, which is a very nice, it'll show up to three, I only have two right now. Um, and it's a very nice calendar. And uh, another thing that I like about it too is if you click on it, it'll load up your calendar. Just like I like this one here too. If you click on this, it'll load up. Um, come on, it'll load up the the time, and you can even set your alarm and stuff like that. So these are just little touches that that these widgets are nice to have because if I want to change my alarm or look at the time, you could just do that. So just a little FYI there. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna do a little extra bonus stuff for you guys. What I'm gonna do is. I'm going to include a download folder that has all of the pictures including the Nexus, Nexus X logo, all of the preset values. So all you need to do is put it on your SD card and let me give you an example of that. So for example, you know, if I click on Root Explorer, you should have a thing called minimalistic text preferences. All you would need to do is put that information in there, for example, battery stats and title. Battery stats means this and then the titles means this. So all you would need to do is pretty much load my presets and that'll save you guys time if you guys don't wanna go through all the work of doing that. So just a little bonus for you guys. I'm also doing a website for all of the tutorials and tips that I do, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you guys want to follow me on Google+, I've added a link below since a lot of you have been asking me about that. And I'll just keep you guys up to date with all of my stuff that I'm doing. And I'm glad that you guys uh, like what I do and uh, love to show you awesome things with Android and of course other devices too. Uh, thanks again and uh, please subscribe and share this with all of your friends. Thank you.